Hi everybody, this is Benita Blocker. Um, this is the Applebaum production. I am getting ready to prepare my hair for wig making. So, um, with that being said, I want to try to make a, a cap weave or wig, um, stocking cap weave, weave or wig. And I need to get my locks um flat and i want to do it such that it will be flatter in the front and flatter in the back so i want a medium to sh not short short but medium to short wig that i want to make using probably about 10 inch hair so this video is mainly to show you my preparation process um so let's get started one of the things that i know the shape of my head and i am very flat headed back here i have i guess a big head but it's really flat back here so um what i want to do is try to get uh most of the hair to come and and focus on the area that's flat so wherever uh based on your head shape um if there's a place where you can focus your locks you know because your locks can be bulky right so if there's a place that you can focus where most of the locks should eventually lay then you uh, want to braid so that it ends up in that place. Uh, so some people I think may not have a place. They may have a perfect shaped head. And so if that's the case, now I would just say try to turban it so that it just goes around and you try to get a nice little circle. So I am I don't feel like I have that kind of head. So I am literally going to start and um, I'm playing this by ear. And I don't have, I haven't set my hair lately, so I don't have a lot of curls in it, which is good. But I am actually just cornrowing it so that it will start to be flat where I need it to be flat. And um, where I want it to be bulky at will be toward the back of my head. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to zoom in but you kind of get the idea. I'm just really, um, I can barely see it myself. I really just did a cornrow. I'm gonna go ahead and do one on each side for right now. Um, because I have sister lots, I do have a little bit of some partings going on. Um, for, from a versatility standpoint. So uh, if your locks are bigger, then you may not, you may have to, um, it may not be quite as straight partings. And my partings right now probably aren't as straight either. But uh, you get the idea. Again, I am focusing, um, trying to get my hair going to the back so that I can have like a swoop and a flatter back. So eventually I just want it flat um, and kind of all stuck about right here, packed down right there. And then I plan to put a stocking cap on and a rain bonnet. Well, rain bonnet first, stocking cap on, because I don't want the glue to get to my locks. So, rain bonnet followed by the stocking cap. And, um, 
yeah and then start gluing the tracks onto the stocking cap so um this video is already five minutes long i do not have an editing suite so what that means is uh i'm probably not going to show you the full thing probably just show you the end of it um but it'll probably be a separate video now i uh you probably see have questions about my lot sometimes like uh when you see odds like this usually that means i probably had a lot that shed it off and then i knotted my own broken lock onto another lot to extend it um and that's probably what you're seeing right now uh i i know some people are very particular they want their lots to be perfect and they don't want to see any odds or or funny looking ends and they're probably constantly pulling um what doesn't look right to them off and that's my button or top um and that doesn't bother me so i don't let it bother me so uh if it does bother you i may not be your subject matter expert as far as locks but um anyway uh I'm, it's still my youtube channel and um as far as my locks aren't completely clean let me do that they're not completely dirty either or they would be more flat than this so when they're clean they're a little more fluffy so these my lots are kind of medium weight right now they're not um they're um, another week or so they probably definitely are going to need to be washed and so they can be light and fluffy uh but for right now uh so uh let me work on this i just wanted to at least give you some ideas of how to start and that's it it's about eight minutes have a great one this has been an apple bomb production my name is benita blogger i'm a master cosmetologist blogger um a few different other credentials but um have a good one. Bye.